Alright, welcome back to Elden Ring, where off camera I explored this little valley. Um, I actually went through and I finished off some of... Uh, I actually did a lot of exploring off camera and I did a lot of like side bosses and stuff. Um, some of them were down here. I think I might... I've already explored this. I, I might need to remove that, but I'll look at that. I'm, uh, in any case, I'm focusing more on main stuff now because I seem to be pretty over leveled for a lot of the side missions. Um, so, yeah, I it's just kind of like really easy, uh, I want to say missions, like dungeons is what I'm doing. But I did find a a boss over here so I'm gonna do that and then from there I'm probably just gonna move on to the capital maybe I explored all this shit up here thinking that there was a way up into the mountains but I guess not so I'm um, pretty sure we're supposed to go into the capital but that's neither here nor there now these enemies um, they have the instant death uh, ability on them so that's why I spec myself out differently uh, this armor raises my vitality I think it is it gives me protection from instant death because if that gauge fills oh fuck fuck you're about to see it the gauge fills I am dead But yeah, if I wasn't wearing this armor, I definitely would have been dead already. Stepping on me? The only thing is, this armor doesn't give a lot of protection from physical attacks. The other thing was this uh, Mirage Rise. There's a little puzzle with it that um, I think in an earlier video, or maybe not, I might have did that off camera. Uh, there's essentially three little um, magic areas that you need to touch just to uh, be able to see that castle. Um, but there wasn't anything like real great in there anyway. It's just more of like a fetch quest. Alright. Uh, the number two. Time to finally take on this boss, I think. You know, I probably do want to clear out some of these guys, just because, like, if the boss fight spills out into the general area, I don't want to be surrounded by these guys blasting me with instant death. I buffed my attacks on horseback and guard. So, you know, a guard may not even be, like, the best thing. If I'm going to fight this boss on horseback... Let's go with extra stamina. Actually, you know what? I could do charge attacks, because I think that would be a double buff. I'd be on horseback and get a charge attack bonus. Let's make sure that this area is nice and safe first. Like you, you have to go. Maybe it'll be more useful against a boss, but it's still taking three hits to kill these guys.
These guys are everywhere. Kind of locked onto the long, wrong guy here. I want these fucking snails, slugs. Alright, we'll continue clearing the perimeter. I just find a. Oh no. I was going to say, I thought I already got that seed. Or, oh no, this is one of those things where we follow somebody, isn't it? Or did I already do it? Must have already did that one. Boss is right around here somewhere. I think he's right by the uh, herd tree. I hate how you can't pick up materials if he's like turning like that. Like why the hell not? If I can pick it up at a full sprint, then who gives a shit if I'm turning or not? Alright, there he is. Worm face. <laughs> Jesus, really? Crimson Spill Crystal Tear. Speckled Hard Tear. Is that any of this shit? those are. So if they're not talismans... I don't know, I'll have to look that up later. It's one thing I don't like about this game is like they'll give you items and it just doesn't explain shit. Maybe it told me if it was a... what type of thing it was if I looked closer, but did not. Oh, the other thing I've been doing is sending co-op signs. Um, if you successfully kill a boss, then uh, while you're in co-op, you get a Crimson Tear, or not Crimson Tear, a uh, Rune Arc, and Rune Arcs are very good. I think I cleared out this area already. Yeah, 
Got nothing new to pick up in here. Okay, that's a lot of instant death. Fuck. All right, get off of this thing. Jesus Christ. I'm not sure I have been down here yet. Oh yeah, I have. Okay. Alright, well this valley I think is mostly clear then. Probably just going to continue on with the uh, golden path here. I already did the Atlas Tunnel. Alright, so... Yeah, it looks like we're doing the Battleground next then. Oh, you know what? I still haven't checked out whatever this is. Let's hit that up. Uh, I still don't have that thing with the plateau. That is number three. Oh yeah, you guys. Um, but before I forget, let's put our other armor on. Get up, dude. Fuck. Well, that worked. All right, buddy, time for you to go down.
He went down way quicker. I think I might have leveled up a little bit more too. Yeah, I'm level 120 now, so whatever I was last time. down there. Oh, I remember this place now. Oh, there's a little cave too. Die. Yep. Fuck. Okay, I don't think that's the way down there. <laughs> Might be able to make it work. Getting lower. Okay, uh, not horseback. Let's do guard counters. Um, instead of charge attacks, let's increase guard. Roy the Grafted? <laughs> Fuck. So he's got a similar move set.
Fuck. Alright, well, I'm not over leveled for him. And he was able to knock me over even with my shield up. And with the guarding ability boost. Alright, so new plan. We'll go with stamina. Um, charge attacks. He looked like he was mostly just doing physical damage. Maybe health. All right, and then for this, where are the omen cleavers that I buffed up? There they go. does a lot more damage but this will add to the bleed effect let's go with that get rid of the shield and we'll go with blood grease Alright, bro, let's go. Ow, fuck you. God! The bleed is help. Helping. Still going. Haha, <laughs> you little bitch. Stack that bleed on ya. Godfrey Icon. Is that another talisman? Chances enhances charged spells and skills. Uh, so not bad for like a magic user maybe. There's a cave down here, I think. Oh, is this just another way through here? 
Yeah, I definitely don't think I've been down here. Yeah, maybe I just like missed this little nook back here. I'm pretty sure I did this already. Yeah. There you are. Bleed! That's a fun status effect. The cold is pretty nice too. It doesn't do as much damage, but it reduces their stamina for like 30 seconds. Their stamina regeneration, I mean. the castle. Alright, so we went up this way, so now it's just to continue on to this path. But we already beat two bosses, so we're probably going to end the video soon. Don't think I've been up here yet. Alright, head for number two. Avengers. I think I, yeah, I fought that giant down there before. Might have even been up this far at some point. Guys are annoying that you gotta finish them off. We'll follow the road around, see where this takes us. Going down there looks like it's just kind of moving on. Did you see them all spawn in the background there? Oh, they like have flying abilities. That we should be able to kill them in one hit. Well, they're not these guys. Serpent arrow. I can't believe I'm this far in the game and I'm still finding like 
new types of arrows and shit. Those other things I got, I almost forgot. They uh, they might be part of a wondrous physic mix. I get another uh, sight of grace. I'll check that out next. What's happening? Is it just like a flying crossbow? Oh, is somebody up there? He must have been forming. See if you're hiding something. This is a cool enemy design. Ow. You're torrent alone, you little bitch. Ten, holy shit, I can probably level up. Seriously? There we go. Why he didn't form like immediately? You know, I have uh, the blood grease right now, but that's not good versus undead. At least I wouldn't think it would be. Or another merchant. Okay, yeah, so it was a sacred tier thing that I got. And then Crimson Restores half. Uh, I already had this one. That one's new. Boost Faith. Speckled Hard tier. This one's new. Boost Resistances uh, and Heals Status in Mixed Physic. Eh. Temporarily reduce equipment load. Eh. I don't know. Right now, I'm going with extra strength and charged attacks. Sell rune arcs. Strength thirty two. Um, I'm going to level soon. But not if I buy all this shit. I mean, it's just the collector in me that wants this stuff. I don't really need anything else.
These sort of golden sunflowers. I don't want to forget that these rune arcs are here, though. Maybe I will just you know, waste my money. Easy come, easy go. I don't think I have a sentry's torch. 7,000 for that. Alright, I think I read... That if you kill these guys, they drop a bearing that you can take to the Twin Maiden Husks. Let's see. Looks like he might be a little tougher than I expect. Yeah. So now, if I go down here, I wonder if she will give me infinite items. I mean, I doubt the rune arcs, but I wonder if I can get more, um, like golden sunflowers and shit. Oh, so no, it just transfers it to her. I mean, I guess it would... It's a way of consolidating them. Maybe I'll go around and kill them. I forget what I'm supposed to do for this guy again. Oh, yeah, in the capital. It bothers me that I haven't found this area of the map yet. I might have to look it up. Alright, well, I'm going to end this here. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one.